Mobile is a hard platform to plan Super Doom Spire, right? Got a tiny screen, you have to use your hands, and even sometimes legs. Until recently, mobile was actually the least preferred choice by top players. Practicing on the go helps, but let's learn how to practice on mobile. Even with not a good device, you can still kind of be a decent player on mobile. Mobile needs some love, you know what, it needs friends, that's why I made this tutorial. In today's video, I'll be showing you the best weapons for mobile, mobile footage, and other advice other than just move to your computer. Just practice. Well, some people don't exactly have the resources for that. I'll also be showing you finger patterns, how I play on my iPhone 6s, and these tricks can sincerely help your game, even if they're quite simple. So let's jump into it. I'll be showing you tips and tricks on how to practice the tricky aim as well, which can help at times, especially the rocket. My name is Tuki Alex, and this is our Player's Guide series, Super Doom Spire, where we show you, the player, into getting better scores and games. Let's get started. Yo, what's up, Hashtag Nerd Squad, and welcome back to another video. Before we get started in this video, make sure to subscribe to the Watch Drama, newest tips and tricks, and more. Don't forget to turn the bell so you don't miss out on one of my uploads, which are uploaded weekly to twice a week to even three times a week with our new schedule. So, in today's video, I'll be explaining how I organize it. Normally, I organize it into sections using the video chapters feature, which can be found in the description. As well, there's kind of like those little marks on your timeline. So, the first tips and tricks that we will be going through is how to set up your mobile device so that way it's good to go. Next, we'll be going through the best weapons on mobile. These weapons can really help your game and these weapons can vary, so I'll be covering multiple weapons to choose. So let's get started with how to set up your device on mobile pretty good. <laughs> If you'd like to skip straight to the best weapons for mobile, timestamps will be posted through video chapters. This is for basic beginners to get started with mobile, this section. To balance the playing experience on mobile, they added something called camera lock, which works like mobile shift lock. To enable camera lock, you can go to settings, the gear icon, and then click on for camera lock. Camera lock is a very useful feature that allows the player's camera to stick in one place, almost like shift lock. This is a feature that is exclusive to mobile and allows the balanced playing experience. For moving with camera lock, you want to move your fingers in a non-organic way, but think robotic. Back and forth, or sometimes swiping the camera for fluid movements. This allows the camera to stay in one place, one direction. Remember to not treat it as a normal camera and be rash with movements. This allows blind spots. Also, do not keep the camera in one place. This leaves more blind spots. In terms of controls to get that computer-like experience, you will want to avoid tap to move, but experience the default because you need to tap to attack, hence the challenges on YouTube, tap to move challenge. D-pad gives the most computer-like experience as it allows you to go in four directions, but doesn't really allow fluid movement to outsmart your foe. For camera, you will always want to set your camera to classic because this allows camera lock to work. Other ones like follow can work if you want to focus on the more finger-like playing style at the bottom. Preferably use a big device like an iPad, but you have a phone that works too. Enabling camera lock, normal controls, and the rest will also make it so that way the shop icons do not get in your way of the fingers on the side, which is especially useful for a phone. Now that you're set up, let's move on to the best weapons. Super Doomspire's weaponry on mobile can vary much different from the PC version or console versions, simply because mobile is an inaccurate device. This can vary with Super Balls and more. For mobile, here are the top weapons I recommend for the four classes. Although I dislike the lighter one, simply because mobile has a smaller screen and therefore lighter weapons can be harder to hit. Blaze class, this is based off the default arsenal. The default arsenal includes rocket being your first weapon, sword being your second weapon, and bomb being your third, super ball your fourth, and lastly the tool which can be used as a spike trowel, also a weapon, the trowel. But the trowel in itself doesn't count as a weapon, and fluctuates depending on the trowel depending on its ability. On mobile if you want to choose this class, if you feel you have a good enough accuracy, using a bigger tablet. Firstly, the rocket you should choose is a hot hog or a crystal blaster which was added recently. With a total of 81 tools in the game, let's narrow it down to these two. These are good for mobility. When aiming on mobile, aim in a downward motion or swipe-like motion. This can be especially good for moving around as this is what these two do best. Firstly, let's start with Hoss Hog. Hoss Hog's values can fluctuate in damage, but generally, as a lighter on mobile, you want to focus on making more shots than accuracy in an attempt to debuff it. 
Essentially, Hoss Hawk is branded as a motorcycle, meaning it can help you move around. Although damage isn't great, the Hoss Hawk can be used as mobile for quick shots. Sometimes you can get lucky and score that one extra. Moving on to the Arm Cannon. The Arm Cannon is also a mobility rocket, making it good for mobile players that want to make their movements not predictable. Using lighter weapons on mobile is not good in itself, however, for movement they can be very good as you can untarget the camera and make these two weapons as fast firing where you can aim towards one section of the screen. With mobile weapons, you'll want to light tap which consists of two taps. Practice that movement on mobile over and over again. Secondly, let's move on to swords with the lighter class. The two best swords to use for mobility are the mobile, are the Vox and the Shadow Blade. Firstly, starting with Vox, this has a 30% jump boost. On mobile, you can use this to make your movements unpredictable. You can use the lunge feature in the sword to get around faster on both. In the air on mobile, you're going to want to be a bit spammy. This sword also allows air time to be increased and damage 30%. Hit jump, hit jump. The Shadow Blade very works very much in speed-based combat. The Shadow Blade's best perks are its lunge, which does heavy damage. On mobile, you should make it a key to strike. Next, moving forward to bombs, as a lighter player, aim your bombs on mobile through a singular tap and use your pointer finger. This will gain the best accuracy. The best bomb to use on mobile is remote. Every button denominates it, which is a neat little trick. This counts for all tiers on this gem bomb. Moving on to Super Bowls, mobile has it tricky with accuracy. Although these items aren't meant to be accurate, many mobile players make the mistake of tapping downwards. Remember again to use your pointer finger and your thumbs to control the mouse pad. Best one to use for lighters is shuriken. Finally, trowels. Trampoline Trowel will be the best to take because it allows fluid movement. The All Around Class. Again, this is based off the default arsenal. You'll want to choose this class if you are a balanced player. Although with the recent update, they nerfed the starter set quite a bit. For the rocket, you are going to want to choose a Crystal Blaster or a Normal Rocket. Crystal Blaster is amazing for combat, whilst Normal Rocket is based in a sense that it is balanced. Simply perfect positioning, timing, etc. which makes it completely balanced. Secondly, you are going to want to take up for your sword as a home runner or a normal sword. What makes home runner good is its batter up ability which allows 150% and its great knockback damage with a 5% stun time. This allows you to go over to your opponent and keep on whacking until you hear that oof. Good on mobile is especially good to spam your fingers. It is a great weapon on mobile as of its ability to act like a balanced weapon yet have great accuracy. Its knockback ability is what you will want to focus on mobile. If a player comes towards you, quickly enact it. Next, you'll want to choose for your bomb the remote, again because of its ability on mobile. For Super Bowl, you're going to want to take the Shadow Shuriken. I would also recommend the Shadow Clone as of its ability to have sneak and mobility, which is good on mobile. The third highest class is the Heavier class. Generally, for the Heavier class, you're going to want to take heavier weapons. On mobile, this is one of the best you can take. On phones and smaller devices, due to the fact that on mobile's inaccuracy, this will combat with the damage. For the rocket, you should take the Lunar Dragon. The Lunar Dragon has good accuracy and good fire rate. It is better for a heavier weapon. Next, take the frying pan for your sword. For this, you may want to triple tap in three places using a finger layout. This is especially good for infection as it knocks zombies out in one hit. For your bomb, always take remote or you can choose Nova or Gem Bomb, which works incredibly good due to its blast rate on mobile. For your Super Bowl, you can take a heavier one such as the Round Cat or the Egg Hunt Skin, which construction damage, although the fire rate is really good for these items. Because mobile has some features to make up in, you know. Lastly, the Trowel. You'll want to take the Cage Trowel, which can allow you to trap your enemies in time. Spike Trowel is also good for guarding doors or placing that quick spike which might get them. Place spikes using a 4x4 method on mobile. The heaviest class consists of heaviest weapons, which is the class I most recommend for mobile. For weapons on this class, take Scope Shot and use it in first person, which is great for accuracy and especially in game modes like Round Cat Rally. For sword, you are going to want to take the Great Sword. Colossal of them have the same skin, so it is honestly a ripoff to buy a Colossal and then take this weapon. 5,000 coins spent for nothing. The Great Sword is good for mobile, which is the ability to use less taps, which taps can be sent more on accuracy. Next, your bomb, you're going to want to take remote as explained previously. In fact, all tiers should take remote simply because of how good it is. For Super Bowl, you should take a heavier one. Lastly, for trial, take a normal trial or a Truscan, which can help to offset mobility for this tier. Thanks for watching my video, I really appreciate it. You can go in the description or you can go in the cards to find a Super Doomspire playlist to get yourself catched up for the next episode. I'll see you in the next video.